What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. You know, Kodak Black is an interesting person. And outside of grabbing his mama's booty and getting shot in LA, you know, he does a lot of stupid shit online. I don't really deal with Kodak Black's music. Um, I just hear about him. I don't, I don't these young guys today, I don't really listen to them like that. Shout out to Kamaya from Oakland. You guys know, um, I'm from the Northern California, so I listen to some of the Bay guys. But Kodak Black, I just don't think he's going to be in my cup of tea, so I don't even really mess with it like that. But on Valentine's Day, he wanted Dream Doll to be his Valentine. Um, now she did curve him and it was, um, you know, really bad. Now he has said that previously they had something, um, going on, which she denies, uh, vehemently, but he said this on Valentine's day on a post Felix day music. I'll tie your shoe and open your doors. I want to show you ish. I ain't shown before. Want to hold your hand. Be friend before yo man. I want to tell you ish. I ain't never said like this. Like, like, like. Are you too, you too old to be talking like a fucking idiot? All right. She came on there and said, sad music. You will never be my man, Kodak. Please stop. Okay. Can I get a ooh sound effect? All right. Let me, I, I, I want to be just like this, right? I wanted to talk about this real quick. Kanye West did something similar by sending let me just say this he sent all these freaking valentine's day's roses okay and um to kim kardashian kim don't want nothing to do with him dream doll just look at this lady all right and i want to tell you a lot of you young guys out there look who you're getting shot down by all right now look at how she presents herself I mean, nice looking young lady, but I mean, come on now. Weave, blonde weave, green weave, more tattoos than Tupac, pink weaves. I can just imagine what her music is like. I'm pretty sure it has nothing to do with Jesus Christ. I can guarantee you that. Um, probably fake booty. All right, and this is why a lot of ladies are entitled because the guys like Kodak Black, like, I, I don't have any issues with her, the young lady, or anything like that. But is this young woman that you want to be like, hey, mom, this is my wife. This is the girl I'm dating. My mom will shit on herself. If I bring Kodak Black, my grandmother will jump. She will lose her wig. All right. And when you guys talk about these girls are thotting it up and all these IG models and they're entitled. I'll tell you why they're entitled. Guys like Kodak Black give ladies like this who really like i said i mean like the looking lady and all that but the, you know all these different color weaves and all this stuff this this is not a woman that you know any man who has some respect for himself is going to be like you know what i want to date you she's an entertainer i know he is too but to get shot down by her i mean i, I mean there's black women out there that you can get shot down by i mean there's some that i mean and i'm just saying this go to atlanta the lawyer doctor types, the business women, stuff like that look good. Okay, cool. But her, and she told you flat out, I don't want you. All right. And like, bro, like, how do you feel? Because again, a lot of ladies, and I'm not saying that she don't like him because of what he looks like. A lot of ladies, even her, ladies are turned off by how some of these guys move around. You guys are having all these babies out of wedlock and how they treat women and stuff like that. I mean, and despite what she, how she presents herself online, like I said, she's a good looking lady and all that, all these different colored orange and red weaves, it's a little bit too much for me. But bro, you, you're you having all these kids on the way. You don't respect your own current baby mama. How does she think you're going to treat her? You're grabbing your mama's ass? Like you're, you're, like you, like you're a guy that disrespects women. And even a woman that looks like her, is gonna have enough respect to say, Kodak, hell no. I'd rather be by myself than to be dealing with you. 
Because there's nothing that can come out of dealing with Kodak Black. He's a lunatic. He's a danger to himself. Definitely a danger to everybody else. And like I said, interesting guy. I know he's in Miami. Don't shoot me. Um, but yeah, but like Kodak Black is not the kind of guy you want to, who wants to do a guy like that? And she at least gets that part right. Because all you're going to end up being is one of the thoughts. He going to get you pregnant. Then he, while you're pregnant, he going to be talking to another girl talking about, can I be with you? And I'm going to tell you what it is. A lot of these guys feel like because they're celebrities, everybody's going to fall for them. That's what it's about. It's another mistake a lot of guys make. Oh, I'm rich. Oh, I have money. She going to be on me. Not necessarily, bro. It doesn't mean that. See, a lot of guys don't want to talk about that. They think that because they have cash or because they have things going, women are going to fall for it. Hey, they may not have as much as you, but some women are not going to, you know, be going for that. You still have to be a respectable man. A lot of these guys have no respect for themselves. A lot of these, like Nick, Nick Cannon, you know, you, you guys have no respect for yourself. And the only kind of women that will really deal with Kodak Black and, and, and these other guys are women who just don't respect themselves. Simple as that. We can, be, we can argue about what they look like. We can argue about how they present themselves. But Kodak Black getting shot down, I think it's a great thing. Okay? Because, bro, you almost got killed just three nights ago. You don't think there's something about you in your life that you need to change? You don't think that? All right? There are a lot of losers with money. You just got out the pen. You're still getting shot at. Who wants to be around all that, all that, all that, all that stupidity and all that dumbness? Every day, you know that you're for sure going to get cheated on. You know what Kodak Black? Like, it's like almost certainly. Imagine you being there, you're his girlfriend, he grabbed his mama ass when he was dancing with her. Imagine you being there. You would be like, what the hell am I doing here? But, stop simping. She don't want you. It's obvious you don't have no game. And let me just say this. If, if you wanted to talk to her, why don't you just get in the DM, bro? Like, why you gotta make it public to the whole world? And get clowned. Look stupid. You ain't got her phone number? Obviously you don't. So you got clown. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. Check out the first comment at the top. And as you know, the before and remains the all-time high. I'm out.